guys, RSK here, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. So last we left off, we investigated Celine's home, and now I guess we're gonna go talk to neighbors. I remember something about a blue house. Hey, can I talk to you? I got questions. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan, Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking, and she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out, and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Sorry, lady. Okay, well, that was a thing. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. I think you're wrong. I think you are definitely wrong. Okay. How far away is it? Okay, it's, it's not that bad. Nope. Not right now. Okay, so... We're gonna take Union to 3rd to Lucas. And then turn right. Or actually, we can just take it past Lucas. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, if the broad keeps the house looking like that, so probably deserve it. The skipper says bring him in. We'll keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. All units in the vicinity in any central unit. A 211 is shots fired, 410 South Flower Street. Unit that can handle code 3 at... Oh, Jesus Christ. It's, it's not all that far. Okay, we'll just keep taking third. Stupid. Keep taking third until we can't, and then we'll turn right. I'm just like, I'm ready to get these over with. Because I don't mind the, like, extra side stuff. I'm happy to do it, I just don't like that it's nine times out of ten way out of my way. So I just hope that I do still get the chance to, like, redo ones that I skipped. Because I still want to complete them all. I just want to do it on my terms, you know? Turn right, and then we'll turn left on 5th. And then left on Flower. But yeah, how are you guys? How's life? How are things? Uh, I'm doing alright. I'm hanging in there. Doing better than I have. If we survive this, it's gonna so, be a miracle. That's the nice thing. I'm just like, ooh, I don't like this guy. Like, my other partners were kinda dumb too, but this guy's just like evil. He's just fucking evil, man. Tables are turned now, haven't they, boys? 
Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. I don't expect you to be useful. Okay. Where the hell did they go? Oh, gotcha. Come on, Phelps. After you. Yeah, uh huh? Oh my god, I can't see. Oh Jesus. Oh sweet Jesus. Okay. <sighs> it's like I just don't want to get hit by a train. Please. Please don't make me. Please don't make me get hit by a train. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. All units 11K reports code four. All right. Sweet. Something else has been completed, and we're up another rank. Okay, how do I get back? Just the same way I came. We'll take down to fifth, follow it till we can't, turn right, and follow that around. That works. Yeah, this one was kind of one of the closer ones, so I'm glad I went ahead and did this one. Definitely was worth it. But yeah, I'm actually still like really enjoying this game. It's different. Not quite what I was expecting it to be, but it's still enjoyable. I still dig it. Really? Now we're in the fucking way. You have to respect me, I'm the law. This is why I should not be a cop. <laughs> Jacob Henry's apartment, 12.23 p.m. Follow my lead. I don't know if I trust your lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatic oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Alcoholism illness. I mean, I, th I think it's good to know, but that's just me. Yeah, let's all slam our doors. Why not? Why not? You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Good. Okay. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Thanks for the offer. Need you to. The oldest problem there is. 
what to do about the old lady. Yikes. Okay. That's not looking good. I don't think so. I mean, why is it just laying on the floor? Is he really that much of a slob? He can't pick it up and lean it against a wall or something? Damn. I feel like there's more. I don't think they're showing me everything. There we go. Oh. Where are you packing to? Where are you heading? What size are your shoes? Damn. Size 11s. Well, no, it's not really what we were needing. Is that it? Hmm. I was expecting more. I don't know why. Alright. Listen here, you piece of shit. Answer my questions. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. We know she went to the Bamba Club. <sighs> the bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night. And I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Bro, be for fucking real right now. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Would love to, actually. Explain this. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a lush and a tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. I mean, I'm not really mad at not that. Not being rational. What's this book again? Oh, Jesus. This is not going well. I completely forgot how to fight in this game. Call it in and get a squad car dispatch. And check for messages. Keep old Slugger here, company. I'm kind of glad he got punched in the face. He fucking deserved it. Fuck that guy. No sympathy. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. 
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt... No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four zero two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Thanks. Any other messages? One detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. All right. Let's follow. To the police station. Far are we? Okay, not not too bad. So left, right, right, follow it right on second. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. This is not the way I meant to go. That it? Y'all don't have any more to say? Lame. Where's the chatty Cathy's y'all are supposed to be? I'm still trying to decide what I want to do for dinner. So I'm like, both Canes and Panda sound fantastic right about now. Okay, so turn left on Hill. No. I don't feel like it. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. They can wait. Let's kill some more. Everybody, in my goddamn way. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsystem pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a practical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easier tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely for you.
All right, I gotcha, I gotcha. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me, and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on. Try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're gonna fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator. Famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. That's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. That was never going to be enough. All right. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Oh. Episode here. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, we'll finish up this interview in the next one. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this with your friends, hit the bell so you don't miss an upload, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>